A lot has been riding on the success of a van and the people inside it. It was one of the most rewarding experiences that um, I've been part of. Chris Richardson with the Mental Health Center of Denver was given a large task less than a year ago. Help change policing by traveling around the downtown area with a Denver health paramedic and respond to emergency calls that don't need an officer's presence. That really is some of the stuff that comes across 911 that doesn't have a law enforcement nexus. It's it's someone in crisis that just needs um, support in that moment. That's the point of Denver's star program short for support team assisted response to provide another option when someone may need help and the pilot's six month evaluation shows how often that support is needed. From last June to the end of November, the van responded to 748 calls for service. 68% of them involved people experiencing homelessness and when the star team got on scene to evaluate mental health was the issue they saw the most suspected drug use came next. 41% of the people they encountered were taken to shelters, crisis centers or hospitals and of those hundreds of calls, not one resulted in an arrest or the need for police backup. That frees up officers so they can focus on our primary function and that's violent crime, property crime and traffic safety. Denver's police chief Paul Pazin says there are daily talks about expanding the program, but while details are still being figured out, the hope is to have more than one van in Denver by the end of this year. But one van has already done so much. Hey, we were one of the first people to actually say we can do this and we did it. With photojournalist Travis Kachatorian, I'm Liz Kodalik, 9 News. Chief Pazin says the city has about $3 million this year to potentially expand the program that could be used to add more team members and vans and eventually extend the program into neighborhoods outside of the downtown area where it's currently focused.